I believe in miracles. I've seen my brother. I've seen a little girl get well. I've seen women with breast cancer. They come to St. Michael's and they pray. Then they'll come back and tell us I'm well. You have to have faith. Without faith, none of us can live, I don't think. My name is Goldie Parr. I had a brother that was 11 years old and he was coming home with headaches. And we took him to a hospital in Tampa, St. Joseph's Hospital, and they diagnosed him that he had cancer in his brain. So they gave him 24 hours to live. Then my brother asked my mother, Ma, bring me St. Michael's to me, please. We got a St. Michael's icon from Greece that's 400 years old. And when we went to Greece in 1936, with my mother and my brothers to give St. Michael's Taxiarchi in Simi, Greece, $300, which was a lot of money. We gave the $300 because he saved my father and his boat crew from drowning when they were sponging. So when you do a taximo, you have to give it. And in return, the priest that was in charge of the church should have never given us the icon that was found on property in Simi. So he gave it to us, and that's the one that does the miracles. And it's 400 years old, and now we have it in our church. So my brother asked to please bring the icon to him so he can hold it. So my mother gave him the icon, and he put it on his chest. And he was starting to dream. Taxiarchi came to him and said, Steve, I will make you well. And he brought him here at this property. It was a lot. We were going to build a house on it. And he says, you have to promise me you'll build me a chapel on this lot. And my brother says, we're poor. We don't have money. He says, don't worry. Things will work out very good. So then he took him to St. Michael's in Greece, gave him communion. This is all in his dream. And then he brings him back to St. Joseph Hospital. And he says, tomorrow morning when you wake up, you can get up and take three steps and you will be well. So my brother got up, Ma, Ma. St. Michael's came to me and my mother said, this is it, he's dying. You know, St. Michael's is the saint that takes our souls. So here comes Dr. Cook. He comes in, that was his doctor. He says, Steve, what are you doing up? He says, I'm well. Dr. Cook checked him out, there was no cancer. Three or four days later, he comes home, and he, had, he was never sick after that. It was all in the papers, Tampa Tribune and everywhere. And so we called the Archdiocese to give us permission to build the church. They wouldn't give us permission because they were afraid that we were gonna split the community, St. Nicholas and St. Michael's. But my father, who wasn't a very educated man, he says, I'm gonna start the chapel, whether they like it or not. So we started building. And when Natinagora from New York, when he saw that we were building it, he did give us permission that the, it would be blessed and the priest could come in and give services. When I go, my son Danny is gonna take the church and take care of it. We're to keep it in the family, in the Salikas family, until we can. When I was 12 years old, I came here to show the church to a friend of mine, right? And when I opened the door, all I heard was bells ringing, right? Real loud bells. So I, I go outside, look at the bell tower, nothing's moving. So I come back in and I'm walking slowly through the church. And I finally come to the icon and the bells were coming out of the icon. Real loud bells, just like someone had a bell, just ding, ding, constant, right? So of course I run out, my mother and my grandmother, everybody was here, so they all come in, they all heard it. But that was my miracle.